Hi, everyone. About a minute on why Russia's continuing bombardment of the Ukrainian electric grid could quickly become a humanitarian crisis. Uh, today is Tuesday, October 18th, and the BBC is reporting that the Russians continued their attacks on the Ukrainian electric grid. Uh, they're reportedly using a lot of Iranian-made suicide drones for these attacks. Uh, but so far, some 1,200 towns and villages uh, today are without in Ukraine, are out of power. Uh, President Zelensky has said some 30 percent of all the power plants in Ukraine have have now been destroyed by the Russian military. So what's happening, hospitals and, 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 and businesses, uh, industry are running on diesel fuel, diesel fired gin sets. Locals are trying to find any generators they can. Uh, but in the meantime, the longer the power is out, more food will spoil, uh, medicines will spoil. And within a week or two, the situation can become very dire. Um, it appears the Russian military has declared all out war on Ukraine. And the way you destroy a modern society is by destroying their electric grid. Uh, a spokesman from Zelensky's office was quoted in the BBC story saying everyone should be ready first to save electricity. And he said, quote, the entire population needs to prepare for a tough winter. I think that's exactly right. Uh, Ukraine uh, is facing a tough winter and more bad news from uh, uh, what has already been a terrible war. But uh, a lot of Ukrainians are going to suffer uh, because of the lack of electricity. Electricity means life in modern society. And if electricity is not available, uh, the Ukrainian uh, situation is going to get grim very quickly. Um, okay, enough. Like, share, follow for uh, more about me. Click uh, the link in my bio for my books, uh, The Power Hungry Podcast, my film, Juice, How Electricity Explains the World. Uh, thanks for tuning in uh, and uh, check back here for more content on energy and power stuff. Okay, thanks. See you.